coming up on this episode. Yeah. Like you're whoever you're loving, like it shouldn't be hard to love them. Yeah. It shouldn't be hard to please them. Like obviously you work for it, you right? Work for yeah. It and you figure out how to do it and But it shouldn't feel like uh, it should be a burden. Yeah, like uh, I have yeah. to love this person. Like that's terrible. And I heard this thing where it's like uh happiness and anger is almost the same because it's away from evenness. Three, two, one. All right, T. Cheers, man. Who's the best dancer on Wildstyle? Oh, my God. Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude. how you start the show. I'm just kidding. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm glad we finally got to um, do this because it's been a minute. Yeah. Um, highly requested. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. Okay. So I have a couple things I want to ask. Okay. The first one is softball. Softball. Okay. Softball question. I will give you credit first and say I have seen you grow into a really good leader and director. I think I've told you this Thank before you. too, right? I think so. Yeah, Thank probably you. drunk. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. what is what was it like first directing, directing at first? Terrifying. Really? Yeah. Why? Because it was never a goal of mine. Like I, I, the only goal that I've had, I guess like an outside perspective, um, you know, I want to be on a team so I can put a, set a piece on stage. Okay. But I never saw myself as a director or so even you want to be a, a choreographer. Leader. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maybe artistic director, but I, I don't practice it. Like, that muscle isn't practiced enough. So, like, I feel like if, if I do it more, I could be better at it, obviously. How long did it take for you until you felt comfortable directing? I started at the beginning of 2017. Was that recent? The end, end of 16, yeah. The okay. end of 2016. Yeah, four years. Um, Probably not until, like, mid-2018. Is that when we first got here? Yeah. Yeah, so I got to see the transition then. Yes. So, actually, no. Like, end of 2018. Mm-hmm. Because... Right after LA? Yeah. Was Andrew still around when you started figuring it out? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, right after that. I think... Oh, I'm getting my years mixed up. Are first you? Because you're old. I am. Okay, so, actually, I'm thinking end of 2017. Okay, so right before I got there end of 2017 yeah, yeah it was um a little bit after aaron came back so was that yellow sweatshirts yes ah but even even during that sweatshirt time like yellow hoodie set i was a little unsure because it was just me and andrew at that time okay at first yeah yeah and then uh aaron hopped okay. on um aaron hopped on and I think we, all three of us balanced each other out really well. Yeah. And um, I think after that set, I was like, okay. You could do it. I'm good. Yeah. What what changed? Um, Seeing people excited to do my piece. Okay. And yeah. like, because I know I don't... Uh, choreograph i guess like mainstream or not mm, or you okay. know it's, it's a little okay. obscure right yeah um even my first piece that i set on wild style in like 2015 it was it only worked because what we were working on was out of the box yeah yeah it wasn't just because it was cool in general that's why having andrew and you side by side is nice because he's yeah. on the same wavelength mm-hmm uh yeah because i remember when he left it's when i first came on i saw you still doing it and i was like okay what's where's mm -hmm. i think it's when you're starting to figure it out mm -hmm. a little bit yeah but i think i like you not wanting to ever be a director yeah does that make sense like yeah i feel like that's what made you good it's it's like lighting fire under your ass a little well, bit kind of but I, I feel like you did it for the right reasons and it wasn't just to be a director 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you I, really want I see the, art, mean. the art to go. Yeah. Okay. So, but you are arguably one of the best technically in the studio. You don't have to say anything because it's true. <laughs> but, but, but my question is, how did you do that? What, how did you train? Because um, you don't move like anyone else around here. I have a very different background from a lot of people. Okay. Uh, I was brought up in a Chinese ballet right. studio. Yes. Chinese ballet studio. And it's funny because that's where I get my balance from. It's yes. Chinese dancing. You definitely have a groove. Like we literally drilled bending our knees, <laughs> just like a very rhythmic plie yeah. for like 10 minutes straight as a warm up. It's so Asian. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and I think um, I did that for like 13 years. Ba Man. Ballet and, and Chinese and a little bit of jazz here and there. Because people don't know that, that you, because when you jump into Tay's class and you start doing some jazz contemporary stuff, yeah. I'm like... Oh, T can do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Because you're when you choreograph, a lot of stuff is like standing and it's like yeah, very I hate uh, the floor. Mu musical heavy, mm -hmm. musicality heavy. Yep. And then I'm like, oh, she's moving mm -hmm. a lot right now. Mm. So how do you figure out how to develop your hip hop style? Hip hop. I know, right? Selling disputes Dude. with dance. Well, in high school... Uh, all my friends were B-boys. Really? All my friends were B-boys. You hung out with all dudes? They're all dudes, yeah. And nice. like a couple girls, I had my, my core girlfriends too, and we danced too. Okay. And that was when YouTube was coming up, yeah. 08, right? Um, uh, what's it called? Essence Ladies. That was with like... Gigi, Ellen. I have a question I heard what? recently that Ellen picked you for selects. Oh, yes. What happened? <laughs> was the first time you got um, selects? She made me do a solo select, actually. Oh, that's deep. So this was, I want to say, 2013. It's all right, yeah. And uh, she taught, it was an MIA song. And, I mean. That's up, right up your alley. It was, I mean, it was my <laughs> shit. Yeah. I was like, and I don't dance aggressively. Uh -huh. So I was like, I have to dance aggressively. I have to do well in this class. Like, whatever. Yeah. It takes, it was like an Ellen, Kim, Sierra Lauren, and uh, Brian Puspo's workshop or something. Okay. Yeah. And then I got, I cried. She picked me for selects and I cried. Wait, before you danced? Before I danced. So why'd your dancing, you're crying? I like, <laughs> no, I mean, I like cleared up. Thank you so much. I <laughs> love this so much for the opportunity. <laughs> I was so nervous. Really? There, there's a video somewhere. I don't know if I don't Happy think. Tears. I, yeah. Did, did you crush it? I was. I think so. Yes. And um, she she marked it in the front. Thank God. <laughs> she marked it in the front, and uh, I was just like in disbelief. I was like, no fucking way, no fucking. Way. I was like, me? Are you yeah. sure? Yes. Well, I guess I that's was so maybe long like. Ago. I was two years in. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Two years into hip hop, like. Were you nervous? Team dancing, yeah. You get nervous doing, doing groups and selects? Not anymore. Because you, like, you train all the time, though. Yeah. I think that's one thing that I, I like about you is, like, you're, if you're in the studio, if you're not hanging out, you're in class. Mm. Like, at least taking. Um, but why, why were you nervous back then? Back then, I got frustrated a lot. Because picking up choreography, like, my retention was terrible. And I was very, I'm, I was one of the, uh, I am one of those people that gets hung up on the details. So I will think about the beginning part if I didn't get it the entire class oh. and then mess up everything else. No. Yeah. So I was like that. And I would cry and I would leave class. I'd be like, you know what? The same me. You I would leave. leave. Yeah. I would you leave never and I would leave cry. Now. I would cry. You never leave now. No. I we mean. tease people who leave now. You I know. And I. It's bad. <laughs> and And. And the worst part, and when it clicked where I was like, okay, you don't leave anymore, was yeah. when I would watch groups and I was like, I definitely could have done that. Oh, watching it back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I would stick around and I would watch them do groups. I would, like, watch from the window. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why was I tripping? Yeah. You know? And so that's when I stopped. How like, long did leaving. it take for you to build that um, tough skin, that tolerance? 
like the end of 2012. So I started, oh, wow. I started going to the studio in 2011, like beginning of 2011. You're taking class every day. I was taking class every day because so I was in college mm-hmm. and I looked up hip hop classes. <laughs> That's what you had to do. Houston, yeah. That's how I found Soundbox. Yeah, and Soundbox popped up, yeah. and they were having their birthday bash workshop. Nice. Excuse me. So it was uh, Vin Win. It was Keone Madrid. And, this is the, and a special guest. This was their second year. Second year. But it yeah. was their one year anniversary, right? Right, right. So I was like, who's a special guest? Right. And uh, me and my best friend Stella, we signed up. We were yeah. like, who cares who the, who the <laughs> special guest is? We're going. Yeah, yeah. Um, we pull up, we go, we get there extra early, and we're nice. like, this is so sketchy. <laughs> At the old studio? Yes, the old studio. <laughs> we're like, where are we? And uh, we see Ellen Kim in the parking lot. And you knew who she was? 100%. We were Ellen screaming. Kim was a queen. We were screaming in the car. Really? We were like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ellen Kim. She's, you know, yeah. she's the um, surprise guest. Man, she is so good. I, uh... I got to teach next to her in Virginia one time, mm-hmm. and I was way over my head, and I just remember when she walked in and started teaching, I already knew I was over my head, and then I was like, the fuck, why am I teaching right now? Like, get the fuck out of here. Uh-huh. And this is like 2009, 10, so like, I'm like way early, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, Because yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. back then it was like, okay, well, we'll pick somebody local, and then we'll pick a, a choreographer mm-hmm, from Dallas Town, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. we they get the network. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'll do it. It's like, fuck this, dude. <laughs> but funny story, uh, Matt Stefanina was there. Wow. He was actually supposed to teach, and I got his spot. Oh, wow. And he, oh, and then he, showcased, his, he showcased his piece, and it yeah. was very Matt Stefanina. And yes. it was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he moved right after. And we're like, where happened to that guy? Oh. And now he's Famous. Matt Stefanina. Yeah. Yeah, catering to uh, his demo. Yeah. That's so sick. It's crazy. Yeah, Ellen was in the Essence Girls, ladies. No. Was she? Yeah, Ellen was on Essence. Oh, She's definitely Ugly Duckling. That was her, her brand. No, no, no. Ugly? No, no, that's Cheryl Koo. Oh, that's Cheryl. Cheryl Koo. Yeah. No, and Ellen. Has similar hair. <laughs> no, Ellen was Funk. Yeah, she, yes, Funk. And she did Lost Kids with Lost Kyle. Lost Kids. Oh. With Kyle. That's true, too. Yes. Yep. Yes. Also, so her. One of my first workshops was with her. Yeah. In Jersey, and I got worked. Yeah. It was bad. It was April Rodriguez, Cheryl Ugh. Koo, Gigi Torres, Candace Brown. Candace is still. Yeah, that was Essence stuff. Ladies. Oh, There's a few okay. more. I would you have jumped on them. if hell, you had the chance now? Uh, hell yeah! Really? <laughs> yeah. I you know there's that's like the girl version of formality. Essence Ladies, oh, shit. you know? Like that. Yeah. What? Who else? So is them? And then did Houston ever? He's had cakes. That or, was later though. Like all female, yeah. Cakes. Was that the only one? It was all female besides uh, Lady Wes had a group for a short time. Oh, nice grits. That's right. Yes. That's mm-hmm. right. Did you jump on that? No. Why don't you do an all ladies thing? Like create one? Yes. Uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm so lazy. Oh my gosh! But you're and so it's good. So hard to like because cakes was already so difficult. Because everyone's schedule is crazy. Oh, Everyone yeah. was on another team already. Yeah. So, like, there's so many talented females, man. That's what and I'm saying. And, like... The young ones have a new girl team. I know. G-Hood or something. G-Hood? Yeah. That's that's a I'm fire excited. cast. Yeah. That's I'm excited. Cast. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm trying to think. Because your showcases at Birthday Bash uh-huh. are one of my favorites. Oh, thank you. Every year. Thank you. I tell you this every year, too. I'm like, i I've only done three years. <laughs> but every year, I was like, like T, small cast it, and just like, yeah. every time, and it's mm-hmm. so good every time. Mm-hmm. Um, did you always know how to block and do formations? Hell no. How'd you learn that? I don't know. I will say, you are much stronger at a small cast block. Yes. Than like a 20 yes. person cast block. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is that because you're... More comfortable working with that, or you saw groups like smaller groups. I think it's just easier. I mean, it's just less work for me. I don't know, honestly. Really? Yeah. I I rather block twenty plus uh, because you can do accent work. You can hide things. True. And I, you can hide dancers. But for, I think for me, with more people, there's so many moving parts, oh. and I want everybody to do something. Yeah. So you. then it, 
then it looks too crazy, mm, you know? Like cluttered. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's why I work better with smaller casts. You should always small cast. And your stuff is hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, your stuff is hard. It's not that hard. Well, maybe. It's hard-ish. Yeah. You, it's, you have to do it right. Okay. Like if, if you, if you do one move at a different sound or like yes. a different texture, the whole thing gets thrown off. The sound thing I agree with. I heard this, uh, Anthony Lee said this during a okay. workshop. If you do the correct move, but it's at the wrong time, it's the wrong move. Yes. And I was like, yo. <laughs> if you do the if, correct move at the wrong time, does it mean like on the wrong beat? The wrong sounds? The wrong timing, the wrong count. If you're too late, you're too early. It's the wrong move. <sighs> yeah. He's so good. It shows when he does it too. Yeah. But, and I was like, Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. So good. And it, what bugs me is like you choreograph right before class sometimes, right? Yes. But then I but, but then I watch it. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I work better under pressure. I think I a lot cannot, of us do that. I do like that. I cannot plan ahead. So how do you choreograph? Do you, uh, do you go by eights, by sounds, sections, or what is your process? I listen to the song like religiously first. Okay. And um, I figure out what I like about it, like like my uh, peaks, right? Yeah. Um, but I don't choreograph those first. I just know what's there. So you pick moments? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I pick the section of the song based on the moments okay. that it has, right? Yeah. But I don't choreograph those moments first. I, I wait till I get it. I do it in order, mm, typically. Yeah. Um, Sometimes I'll skip over things if I like cannot get past the part. I'll skip over it. Yeah. But uh, I usually freestyle until I. Your find freestyle something. game has gotten so much better. <laughs> I remember watching yeah. some of your freestyles, and they were good. Like back at the old studio mm -hmm. when you posted it, and I remember there was one you posted. Might have been about three years ago. Yeah. Four years ago, and I was like, "T, what happened?" Like. I don't know. Because I don't think I ever met you. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I think we never, like, formally... No, we've known each other. But when did we meet each other? We met each other in, like, 2012. Doing what? I don't know. You are just at the studio. That's what I'm saying. I don't oh, think it yeah, was, yeah, like... yeah, I think I, I just, just knew, knew you. I knew you from El Paso. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I was like, who the fuck, T? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I forget what it was. And it was, like, it's funny. I wish I could find that video. I might have to look for it now. But I was, like, thinking about it now, I was like, okay, that video is so much of an origin of like how you dance now yeah and it was like a it was like a clear change mm -hmm. of how you heard music yes uh absolutely well, how do you train that? so different now how do you train that i don't know it's weird like is it the songs you choose because you also choose you're uh, also open to like abstract songs yes. and beats uh before i was heavy lyricist heavy and i think that's kind of like i i for sure am like when you start off, you just, you sing the words. Like, you're a kid, you sing the words, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, I, I did not hear beats back then, dude. No. Until you start getting Cliff. And probably, <laughs> Cliff used to do this thing where, like, he would, like, put his hand on my leg and he'll, like. I do that with, Tan, I do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, and then at first I was like, wow, so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, he knows music. What does fingers do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm dead, but um, <laughs> I was like, okay, and um, yeah, I think I just started, I took that, and then I would go back. To the same songs? To the same songs. Was he, was he fingering sounds <laughs> that, that you were not hearing? Yes. Oh, yes. so it wasn't even like boom cacks. It no. Was like those little things. It was things. like boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Or like, you know, like a, like a, or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. That's why yeah. people's choreography is so good. Because it's just those very minuscule details. I feel like some people don't, I don't see that as much anymore. Right oh. now. It's very different. Um, it's, it's very fun right yes. now. And I love it. Yeah. So who, choreography wise, who do you watch now? I don't. I was going to ask if you I do don't. or don't. Not in a long time, no. I thought you were going to say that. Yeah. Because 
to me, if you did, you'd be influenced by it or you start moving like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but your vocabulary is really good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Like, very rarely do I see you repeat something. Like, even when you do the like, weird arch thing that you do, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, no one does that. <laughs> you compensate for not going to the ground? <laughs> I hate the floor, dude. I hate the floor. I don't know if it's because, like, I'm a tall girl and I'm just, like, far away. I did... I didn't do contemporary, I did modern, okay. which is a little bit different. I couldn't tell you why. I couldn't tell you why it's different. I just know, I just know it's different. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we'd go on the floor and mm-hmm. then that was fine. But after I stopped doing that, I f- fucked the floor. I, I just, <laughs> I don't know. I it's to just too that. far. I don't want to fall down there. I'm definitely not hurt myself. I used to be a requirement of pieces. Like you would have like a combo section, you would have mm-hmm. a groove in there, you have some type of level, mm-hmm. and then you would try to throw a ground in there somewhere yeah. like a knee, and that that was a, a well rounded piece. I've tried, man. I try to do floor choreography, and it looks like ass. Like You've, it's so I've bad. Seen floor We've choreographed together. Did you listen to the song before we did that? It was the uh, do my own thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You did. No. Oh, because that was pretty on the spot. But that wasn't a floor move. Well, I'm just saying in general. Oh. Compared to your normal yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, process. Mm, that yeah, was smooth. Yeah, yeah. It was. And we blocked it. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. That was good <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I'll watch, like, I'll watch, like, our friends. Okay. And, you know, stuff that they put out. Yeah. Uh, I'll watch, like, Kuni Mari stuff. If they do For like sure. a short film, you know. Yeah. Um, they're all short films. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm like heavily influenced by like Kioni, Chris. Did you do their building block? No. Really? I, I did, did not. I wanted to do a building block with Mari. Oof. That's just expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, I have the building block 360 though. How's that going? I don't use it enough. I don't use it enough. I you got did, the whole you year did one though. Of Keone's pieces, right? I did Keone's it hit was... different? Thank you. That was hard, but I love it because it's so like it uses everything. It's it's crazy that you say that because you're one of the dancers when I watch you. Mm-hmm. I just because only because I'm a dancer, I know how much energy it's taking. But you always seem you have you walk this line between pocket and lazy so good (laughs) (laughs) you know what i mean (laughs) i am a lazy dancer i know you are but but you're also like because the way you dance and your ability to uh hit sounds in certain ways Mm -hmm. i'm like oh but it's pocket (laughs) like your time (laughs) is always good musicality yeah but musicality yeah but it the reason i said it's because it looks like you never strain oh yeah muscly but i know how much it's tiring yeah it is tiring tiring. yes i will I was dead. I should have recorded it the day I learned it. But I recorded it like the weekend after Did or you think like it was something. Be, you were gonna be fresh. Because when I recorded it, it was not fresh. Oh, like yeah. it was fresh in your mind. Yeah, and like it was better when I learned it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't have anyone around me. I was like, uh, anybody? Okay, I guess yeah, yeah. I'll record it later. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, it's but I I think it's though that you do that and that you yeah. train as a director. And here's one thing I'll say too, as a director, I feel like you're, you've gone a lot better and you're actually really good now at giving direction mm. uh, and feedback. And I love dancing with you on the team because you're also the one that goes, um, no, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. Yeah, it's not right. And you'll, and you'll clean and you'll like, cause you know those details mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. like that. How do, how do younger dancers learn to be detail oriented like that you have to observe like everything Mm -hmm. like um i always say where's the source the source of the movement yeah Mm. what is uh people talk about like intention a lot yeah and that you know i agree what is the intention of the piece yeah what is the intention of that just that move yeah right but also where's the source and we are sourced here, our center, whatever, our back, you yeah. know, our the whole torso. Our limbs aren't anything without our torso. I love that you know that and that you say that 
because a lot of new not say newer a lot of dancers in general are mm-hmm. very limb heavy. Yes. And uh that's why they don't bounce. Mm-hmm. They don't groove. Mm-hmm. Because w- even though your stuff is so musically heavy, I still see you ride the mm-hmm. wave and mm-hmm. you are able to get in and out yeah. of it so good. And then a lot of them stuff is just I think what you're saying is don't look at picture, 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 picture. Correct. And then, because you also look at pathways. Yes. A lot. Yeah. Like, yeah, really good. So, because because our bodies are different, okay. you can't look at somebody else's picture in, you know, people say match my picture, right? You and know, if when you they're know cleaning, your own body. Then, yeah, you can match it in your own way. Yeah. But if you don't know that, then you're going to try to look exactly like that person. You're never... Yeah, my my arms are way longer typically, yeah, and you know, like I have a long torso. It's not gonna look the <laughs> same, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I have to make sure that and then like match my level. Really, you know, they're four That's feet tall. Not fair. I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you have to understand one, we are not the same. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that like I'm better than you because <laughs> that sounds that's what it sounds like. But we are not the same. Our bodies are different, yeah. and you have to understand your facility. Mm. And again, when you watch somebody, where is their source from that movement? I'm very like I go from the shoulder out, or you know, mm-hmm. or from like the hip out, or you know, whatever. But also, um, I watch how their knees line up with their heels. Yeah. I watch things like that. If their, their heels if are their up. their hands are like yeah. doing something crazy. Because like in, in Chinese dancing, we have this hand, we have this hand. You know, like it's just yeah. so specific. So I think also that helped me too. Mm. Because just like small details like that. Yeah, you're definitely you don't really have. Yeah. Versatile. Even. Um, side note. I recorded my laugh one time. <laughs> Tay says the closest thing is a sheep. A when we, sheep. When we, when we drive by, like on the road. Oh my God. And I was like, what does that even mean? Thanks, You've team. driven by sheep? I don't know. I don't know. It could have been a cow. I'm a farm animal, apparently. Okay. Thank you for that. Yep. Yeah, because now every time I, I laugh, uh, Tay looks at me, she goes, hmm. <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess so. Okay, okay. So so musicality wise. Yeah. So so Cliff's tapping on you. <laughs> you know what's gonna go. Cliff's tapping on you. Okay. Uh-huh. You start hearing things. Do you hear things the way Cliff hears things? No. I don't think so. Really? Well, can he... you guys don't clap and stuff? No. Yeah. We've tried. Tay and I rarely clap, only like a handful of times. We tried once, I think. Is it because the movement's different or the ear's different? Um, I'm more of like, uh, if it works, it works. Let's just do it. Uh, right? okay. It works. Yeah. It may not look great. We can always tweak it later. But Cliff has to have it perfect. On the first run. On the first run. So if it's not perfect, by the time we move on, we're going to keep That's all we clapped. That. Okay. Quick, yeah. I think. Because I'm okay with the skeleton and we could tweak later. Yeah. Yeah, Tay's very much like, I can't move on. And so I know exactly where my weight is, mm-hmm. where my hands are. Yeah. And I was like, okay, okay. But Cliff is a much sharper like dancer than I am. Technique-wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But did, I, w- I would say, though, when you guys dance, you guys perform together. Mm-hmm. How was that, being on team together? It's fun. You guys, like, give each other notes? Uh, Yeah. More him to me. <laughs> I can't critique Cliff. Yes, you can. I'd get in trouble. <laughs> By who? Blink twice if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, well, when we were on the team together, I had just joined. Mm. So it was very early on. Um, I even asked. I was like, yo, like, give me a private lesson, whatever, yeah. you know. Before he's, you're like, he's like, no, you don't want that. I was like, Why? It's like, because we're going to fight. I was like, okay. Okay, fine. I, I get it. You know, yeah. I let it go. And then later I was like, no, like for real. <laughs> <laughs> we never have. Um, and we tried to claw that one time. It's just, our processes are so different. He's very type A and very type B. And yeah. we just like, it, uh, it just doesn't work. But I feel like you're type A. 
I can be. And I'm very like. <laughs> if you need to be. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm I like, I don't have, uh, like, I'm not that specific. Yeah. Yeah. If I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But he would, um, he would like give me notes and I, at first I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, you take it personal. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, screw like, him. You're just screw, picking screw, on screw me. Cliff. You know, you're just picking on me. So you know, would she be better? You know, like, okay. And then I got better. And yeah. then you know, like I did, I didn't want to be um, like Cliff's girlfriend. Yeah. I did not want to be Cliff's girlfriend. I was talking about that before. Yeah. And I was like. I, I didn't join because of Cliff. I didn't even know who he was, you know? Like yeah, he's I didn't, nobody. Who is that? The <laughs> <Ledethma. laughs> Um I I didn't join because of him. Yeah. I didn't know who he was. Um and so like I was like, oh, I, I'm not gonna have people be like, that's Cliff's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Like they're gonna call me by name. Right. Yeah. So mm. how long did it take for that to happen? Because I know in the beginning. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, you're a Cliff's girlfriend. <laughs> so did you overcompensate? Were you like probably. in every group? Like, fuck this shit. I'm going to um, kill it. Probably. But I mean, I think I got casted a lot too. I believe it. I got casted a lot. Um, I got pissed when I didn't get casted. Man, I, I would get pissed. Can we talk about that for a second? Like yeah. as a dancer? Yeah. It sucks, man. It does suck because you work really hard mm -hmm. for it. And I, I remember... When we were on uh, SG, dude, I worked so hard to get casted in the back. Like, yep. And I was so proud of it. Or to walk it. off. Or to walk off. Or to, like to transition for four counts. Yep. Or, or to come on as an accent, right? Yep. Uh, but I remember like working so hard for those four counts, mm -hmm. but being pissed about it. Yes. Because we care. As a director, I know you see pissy. It sucks, man. Yeah. And... It's one of those things where you have at the end of the day you're on a team and you have to do it for the picture. You have to do it for the the wholeness of it, right? Yeah. And um it just wasn't your time. I like that a lot. It just wasn't your time. And you know, like you'll have it. it it'll come. You just stick with it. Yeah. And no matter how bitter you are about that moment, because I'll hold a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, damn it. Um, at the end of the day, you didn't get it. So what are you going to do? You know, yeah. you just, you didn't get it and just do better next I time. I think it's also important to say, like, it's not, it's never personal. No. And it's, I know some people are like, oh, favorites and stuff. It's like, yes and no. And Cliff talked about this a little bit too, but like, if you truly crush it, if I don't cast you in a piece and you crushed it, then I'm making the team look bad. Yeah. And that's like, I would never do that. Yeah. As a director. I know you would never do that. You, it's about awareness. Yeah. It's about awareness. It's like, you know, like, you know, typically if you, when you choreograph a piece, you know, who's going to do well. Oh yeah. Or if someone else choreographs a piece, you know, they're going to do well in that piece. Mm -hmm. And it's not always the same people. Maybe it is the same people. Yeah. Right. And it's all about trust. Yes. It's yeah. about trust too. Because it's not just about how talented you are. Mm -hmm. You have to be dependable. You have to show up. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. No matter how badly you did last time or yeah. if you didn't get cast, whatever, you have to show up every single time because then we'll know you're fighting. Yes. Sometimes we will pick the ones who fight more. That's, I think, I think because of the process, the, the recruiting process mm -hmm. the last couple of years. Yeah. Yo, some of the wild heads are so strong now. Some of the ones that were like not getting casted yeah. two years ago. And now I'm like, oh, you guys are good. Yeah. I don't think they even know how good they are they yet. Don't. Because we haven't, showcased it right yeah they haven't had a, to perform or to cast or to mm -hmm. to do any of that stuff i'm like oh my god you guys have no idea it's been rough how good it's gonna be it's been rough to like not um 
be able to show off the team. Yeah. Uh, like correctly or mm -hmm. just like, you know, and this year is like, or last year mm -hmm. was like, uh, it really put people to the test for sure, you know? And I think just like, it makes me grateful because like people are down for this. You That's know? what's up. Like if you yeah. dance through COVID, like, you were, you, you were, wanted it. You were down. Yeah. And at some, at a few points I was like, I don't even think I'm that down, you know, <laughs> like I'm like, That's but I have to be, you yeah. know, because I have to show up for them. Mm -hmm. They're showing up for me, you know? That's why you're a good director. And like, it's just like, there was no way. There's no way I could have shown up if other people didn't show up, you know? Yeah. So, like, I'm excited to, like, showcase the team again. Is Bash the for next time? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait. Yeah. I heard some old heads came back. Mm hmm Some of them. Some crazy loud ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be good. Um. Yeah, like it's nostalgic, like people coming back. I love but it. But also, like, that's how Waldo fit. It's felt. a good mix. It's a good mix. It's a good energy. People are excited, you know? Yeah. Like, it's hard to get excited about things anymore. It's tough because on a team, like, I feel like the year breaks up in your performances. Yep. Right? Like, if your seasons, hundred percent, right? Yeah. You have you have bash, and then after that, you probably have a wad, mm -hmm. and then meltdown, mm -hmm. and then maybe another wad. Yeah, or something. Yeah, maybe. Whatever yeah. you decide to do, yeah. Or you wait till bash. Yeah. Right, You're like you got three main ones all, and then now bash is the first one. Mm -hmm. Are you guys doing anything next year? We don't know yet. It depends. It depends how COVID is, you know, because yeah. like we want to leave Texas probably. Okay. Um, but honestly, it's just, it's going to be hard. COVID took yeah. away finances, you know, it took away, like, travel, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, who knows? Like, yeah. we might just, like, start doing content videos more and more. I was going to ask about that. Have yeah. you guys done any since? We only did... Uh, board in the house. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which was that really was fun. fun. Yeah, that was super fun. It was super fun. I was surprised by everybody. And it was nice, dude. I was so impressed. I was like, "We're you know like you guys are TikTok kings and queens." Oh, I, I mean, me and Aaron were at the end, so we didn't have to do anything <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Ours was the easiest one. I feel like everyone worked hard, but us. <laughs> um, but that was fun. Yeah, it was like because seeing the transition from one dancer to the other, mm -hmm. you know, and, and them figuring out how they're going to do that. Right. Yes. And if you haven't seen it. Links below. <laughs> well, so I <laughs> um, that was the last like concept video we did. You guys should do more in quarantine. Yeah. I want to see more. Yeah. As alumni, I like, I'm like, you know, we yeah. always miss it. I'm like, oh, I want to see. What's going on right now? Yeah. Are you going to do friends and family for, probably not, right? I don't think so. I don't know because what we're, friends? I know we're filming, I don't want to give it away. Oh, it's, wait, is it live? It, is, it is live. Oh, okay. But I like, there's going to be like several rehearsals before it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll see you after Bash then. Probably. <laughs> yeah, this last it's see so you. hectic, dude. Ah, I believe it. It's so hectic. Thankfully, we don't have to do um, like teacher showcase this year. Yeah. Uh, although I love teacher showcase, but this will be my first one too. I never did one last year. Oh. <laughs> oh next time, guys. Well, oh, you gotta teach for another next year. studio. <laughs> you gotta teach for another year, dude. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I'm working a. Uh, I don't know what, what's going on with that, but it's, I figure, like, I'm on the way out, mm. and so I'm just scheduling, like, a bunch of collabs on the way, because I never do collabs. I yeah. purposely don't do collabs. Collabs are hard. I, so hard. But they're fun, and they're easy when you do it, but then you realize 
because it's two people yeah. creating content, it's double the content. You kind of, but it's tough because like, if I'm recording by myself or in our collab, because mm -hmm. we're in time crunch, it was like, yeah. okay, it works, it works, we'll clean, we'll whatever. And it was super short. Yeah. yeah. It was like, what, four eights, probably tops. If that. Maybe. Yeah. Like three. Yeah. I don't know. Three, three in a transition. Yeah. And uh, like June and I just collabed. Yeah. And I remember thinking, um, okay, if I'm collabed with June, then I'm not, I can't be that way. Mm -hmm. Like I've got to go in professional and be like, this is, we're going to have some banger stuff on the way out. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. Like, this shit has to be clean. I was like, all right, let's let's yeah. go. And I was like, fuck. But it was so dope though, because I was yeah. like, let me do that with everyone and yeah, see yeah, how they yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So so chickens and I are gonna collab too. Oh shit. Uh, in two weeks. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Which is like di he's different than June. Yeah. But I, I could do that too. Yeah. So it's gonna be a test to see how versatile I really was am still. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um Every time I collab, my collab choreography wise is always way harder than mine. Your collabers? No, I mean like the oh, choreography that we make is yeah. always way harder than like mine alone. Oh, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, yeah. Yeah. I think because for me though, it's so weird because normally I only collab for stage. Mm -hmm. Right? And mm -hmm. if it's for class, I, I'm so, for my class, it's always about here's the feeling or here's the groove or yeah, here's yeah, yeah. the dance in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys, you know, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Like details are there, but it's like, mm. And then, yeah, sometimes it's crazy. Like, every time me and Aaron collab. You guys collab a lot. It's a lot. We were like, we were like, well, this feels great. And then we're like, this is a lot. Yeah, I thought with Aaron, I'm like, oh, this is a lot of counts. Yeah. Like, this is a lot going on. Yeah. It's when, fun, though. When you uh, choreograph, either collab or not, do you do it with stage in mind? No. Like, if you choreograph for a while? Really? You just still translate so well. I don't know. I'm surprised. Does Aaron? I don't. I think so. Yeah. He does he it all the time, though. He could for the moments. Yeah. He mm. does all the time, though, because he teaches 24-7. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, He teaches so much, and he stages a lot. Mm -hmm. So he has a lot more experience in that. Yeah. So his, typically, he can stage things super fast. Yeah. I have to, like, sit in it for a little bit. That's okay, though. Yeah. That's I mean, I, I never do it. So, like, it makes sense. Do you do like, the pennies? He, yeah. I nice. do. Sometimes I draw it too. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did have an app, but I got a new phone. So oh. the, the playbook app. <laughs> yeah. Or something. Was it, is that what it's called? Yeah. I, still have yeah, it. I forgot. Um, I've used that. Yeah. But then, you know, sometimes you just need bodies. How long do you think you're going to direct for? I don't know. You even think about it. I try to push it out. Yeah. I try to push it out because it's like, like my safe haven, right? And and like I'm planning on getting married and buying a house and blah 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 and like yeah. and again like how long can I keep this up? It's tough. And not that I don't trust my team, but you're always it's like when you have a kid and you're like are they going to be okay? Are they going to be okay? It's like yeah. that. Yeah. Are they going to be okay? You can't coddle them, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know. Maybe a couple years. Yeah, you already know. started succession planning. I'm trying to, but COVID kind of messed everything up. Oh, so, I, I don't know. That's uh, that's always tough because yeah. June and I had that conversation about when he was leaving and everything. Mm -hmm. And then Tay and I talked, and now we were so lucky because we weren't directing, we weren't, we were just dancing. Yeah, and even now I'm teaching still, but. Mm -hmm. And so she, but the commitment is not directing. Like people don't understand that like when you direct, it's, it's a job. Yeah. It's day in and day out, especially when you're in competing, a competing it's, team. It's like season. having 20 kids. Yeah. 20 drunk ass adults. Yeah. It's fun. It's a good time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I usually just sleep before everything. So. Yeah. <laughs> You sleep all the time. I love sleep. We go on yeah. trips together. You fall asleep anywhere. Yeah. It's dangerous. I'm not narcoleptic. T, it's you I mean, fall asleep I might in be. the restaurant, in the Uber. I'm gonna sleep right you now. You can get kidnapped. I could not get kidnapped. I'm so paranoid. I could not get kidnapped. What no. are you talking about? If you fall asleep somewhere? No, but I do this thing where I sleep, but I can hear everything. That's creepy. Yeah. Like sleep paralysis? 
No. Like, like you're, you're like I'm not fully asleep. It's just my body's resting, but I can hear everything. Like I'll do you know the that thing. old auntie who's like, I'm resting my eyes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You're yeah. Really doing it? And then like, somebody says something. Like, what did you say? <laughs> or like, I'll join the conversation while you're sleeping. Yeah. I see you do that I'll be too. like, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know. Like when do you and Cliff set a date? No. No, not yet. But we're thinking next year. Post. Post COVID yeah. vaccines. So 2022. You excited? It's next year. Yeah. I mean, it's been together. Let's fucking do this. Yeah. How long has it been? Nine years. Do you think it's going to be different when you guys finally get married? We have to live together first. We haven't even lived together. Is this a yet. Texas thing? I feel like. No, we're just. Because well, Lane, Lane was coming too. It could be an Asian thing too. I don't think so. No. Well, because. Oh, it could be a Texas thing. Lane was saying she didn't move in with Dewey until they got married. Uh, well. Sean and Nancy. Also, it could be, well, I don't know, because, like, I wanted to move in together. Uh-huh. But I think. It makes sense, though, to save money. Yeah. We we're just like, and then we got too comfortable. And then we were like, let's save money. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> and then it just years go by, and you're like, well, shit. Yeah. And then, um, but, yeah, we have to live together first. So that is going to be so the you're gonna biggest. you're going to live together uh, and then get married? Yeah. At this point, would you even risk it? Right? What I if... don't know. Like, I should lock it down first, yes. right? <laughs> yes. Well, do you, how often do you guys spend the night at each other's places? At least once a week. Just once a week? Yeah. So at you least. don't even. But I've, I've been like, like Harvey, I was with him for like a good, almost two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Like a whole laundry cycle? Yeah. So basically, yeah. Ooh, you got. And we've traveled a lot together. That's not the same. I know it's not the same. I know it's not the same. And you know, and then like COVID, like COVID, we spent a lot of time together because yeah. I wasn't working. And you guys gave each other COVID. We did give each other COVID. That's just so think crazy. He gave me COVID. Gosh, from another person. <gasps> um, it's that was fun. Traveling is not the same because Tay and I traveled together way better than we lived together. Oh, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure. It's just so much better. I'm sure. Yeah, because you're like on vacation, you know. Yeah, like and then fun. for some reason when we travel, she turns into this like, not that she's not great now. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Uh, she turns into like this <laughs> great like travel partner who's like looking stuff up and like doing mm, things. I'm, I'm terrible. Cliff is like that. Are you? I, I sit there and Cliff does everything. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> when we go... <laughs> T's really good about it because I plan stuff all the time in our normal life. Yeah. When we travel, I'm just like, babe, you got it. You figure it oh, out. Oh, Cliff plans everything for everything. Beforehand or like on the spot? Always. Before. Is he an agenda? He uh, he does itineraries like for us. It's so sweet. Like we went to Portland. Yeah. Itinerary. I was like, oh my God. And I was like, do you only look up places to eat? And he was like, no, no, it's okay. I was like, are you sure? Because Did he budget you guys? No, not that far. Because you guys dropped a penny. Not me. I did it. Oh, at the Nike store? That, that was all Cliff. How much? Well, I, sp I spent like 200 You said, okay, so just 200 But then Cliff, the way you're sounding it, you don't say anything. Just I'm just going to guess. You don't say anything. You don't just, say anything. Uh, I'm going to go at least three times what you spent. How much I spent? Oh, okay. Maybe. Okay. But he bought like... Like everyday things. Yeah, like long compression shorts, yeah, socks, yeah, and, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like dry fit shirts. <gasps> Women's section was terrible. And That's Cliff, Cliff gets so mad at me because I literally say this every time. It was fucking trash. Women's section always has the best shoes. I bought one pair of shoes. Which ones? I don't even know what they're called. Okay. But they like, they're nice. They're they anyway. Uh, gum bottom. I should have gotten that jacket. That jacket is oh, yeah. Okay. And I got hiking pants. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which were like normally super expensive. They're normally like 180. Okay. So I got them 40% off. And then I got um, just like a running, like long sleeve with like the half zip. Yeah. That's all I got, dude. You running now? No. It just says <laughs> running on it. <laughs> Are you playing tennis too? No. God, I'm so bad at tennis. And, you know, obviously, you know, you have to work at it. You have to get better. And not yeah, you everybody's. Can't, you, can't, you can't walk out of the studio, T. Not everybody's good at it at first. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. Like, whoop-de-fucking-do. 
but I'm terrible. You can't be like I don't that see bad. the ball. You, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with a small. No, ball. the volleyball is like five times bigger. But it's the same nah, concept. No, 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 no. Tennis, you have a racket, which should make it easier. No, yeah, because it's, it's not your body controlling something else outside of you. Yeah, you're right. I look like I'm doing magic, but I'm Disney. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible. I got good at it for like a hot second with. This recent with time? tennis, this well, recent no, time when I, I was playing. No, I didn't. I haven't played in like three months. Oh it's bad. I want to play again. You guys play volleyball right now? Uh, we played like two weeks ago. Nice. Yeah, but like volleyball, I want to get good at. Yeah, I feel like that because I, the one time I played in middle school for PE when they taught us <laughs> the rules, I was good at it. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, this is cool. I, if I were to play a sport in high school, it would have been volleyball. Okay. But I dance. Like, I literally only danced yeah, yeah. all the time. I didn't play any sports. I would have run track, probably. Like, I, I would have wanted to be, like, a sprinter. Those legs, yeah. And volleyball. But I just never did sports. But you had, you and Elisa, maybe Lisa too, did the workshops stay out here, right? Like, the open gyms? Once. Oh, nice. Just once. Well, that's good, though. It's fun, that's yeah. Like, it's good. That's a commitment, though. Yeah. That's saying I want to... Be better at yeah. it. Yeah. And then, like, for me, tennis is just... I don't care to make time for it. it. I mean, it's fun. Is it dance or bust? It's no, I mean, an anime. it's just one of those things where like, I, it, I don't feel it. Mm. And like that playing tennis was like one of the first times I've got frustrated in a long time. <laughs> it was like when I would cry and leave dance class, you know, yeah. but, uh, yeah, I cry and I was like, fuck this, I'm like, <laughs> you know? And, um, but then, like, after that, I was like, ah, I don't care to be better. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just not for me. I mean, maybe. And I, I like it because I'm, like, with my friends. But then also, yeah. when you suck, you feel like you're holding everyone back, right? You feel like nobody wants to play with you. Uh, That's how I feel. I'm like, okay. nobody wants to play with a girl who sucks, dude. Like, Because I'm just going to keep hitting it yeah. somewhere else. Just stay in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Get, play with the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So Even the wall is tough when you suck. Yes. Yes. I agree. So, what are you gonna do after you stop dancing? Are you know, crazy. Wow. Probably. I Dance ask myself, myself this all the time. <laughs> you become Freestyle? a TikToker? Oh, fuck. No. Yeah. Absolutely chicken not. Wing. Chicken wing. <laughs> chicken wing. <laughs> I. What do you do? Um. I, honestly, I don't think you'll ever stop dancing. Wait. But yeah, if I were like retired teaching and directing and mm -hmm. stuff, uh, I might write or like books, like short story, poetry, like poetry, probably. Dope. I was a huge poetry writer. I didn't in high know school. that. Yeah, yeah. Your your Asian baby girl life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could never be like. ABG. Like, I'm not. You're too hood. Like, I don't know yeah. what it is. Um, I was and am boy crazy. Okay. Cliff knows this. It's fine. I know. Because I... when you were on Tay, that's why I hear. <laughs> boys, 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 Did you boys. see this video? This guy. <laughs> of course you have, right? Yeah. Um, no. So I would write love poems. I. Like, and, and it was so did funny. You, did you fold them in, like, the little squares? No, 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 no. Because no? that means I would be sending it to them. You never sent them? I sent letters. Oh. I have sent letters. Okay. okay. <gasps> and got rejected every time. Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait, what, yeah, did, what did you say? Well, don't, I don't want to know. But did you, like, did you proposition the letters? Like, like me back or, like, date me or? Not like, date you, me, but rejected? I'd be like, hey, like, I like you. I want to know how you feel. I love that you did that. I wish more girls and did that. And then they're like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, fair. That's fair. How many times did you do that? Uh, that I can remember twice. Did you stop because you got two no's? Um, well, okay, like one I wrote and then, you know, it was a no, whatever. And then a couple years later, I wrote another one. Your voice story is And it was favorite. like a no. But... I stopped writing letters, but I never stopped like telling people I liked them. I love that you do that. Why do yeah. you do that? Why don't more girls do that? I don't know. 
Because I do that yeah. with girls. Yeah. With hey, I like you. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Am I wasting my time? Yeah. Exactly. Am I wasting my time? That's the biggest thing for because me. Because I will like, oh my God, we would be so cute together. Right? <laughs> like. Do you doodle? Like, do you, are you like, Mrs. T. Smith? Like, Smith? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mrs. Um, T. Yeah. So. Jenkins. That's a random name. I couldn't um, no, I just, I would like, well, back then we didn't have texting, right? Like we did have texting, but I it didn't. It was really fresh. I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't have a cell phone for a while. So no me, my, me and my friends, oh, I miss T9. Uh, me and my friends had like notebooks with each other. So we'd write letters to each and other back, back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. So it'd be like, we would talk about our crushes and blah, blah, blah. And, and then I'd be like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, yes. How old are you? This is high school. It's like oh, it's freshman. Actually, I yeah. Middle school. Oh, well, I did one in middle school. Okay, yeah, okay, but my journals were like in high school. Okay, and I think I had one in middle school too. You still have these journals? It'd be so fun. To I find. have one. I have oh, one of them. That'd be so fun to find. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I read it all. It was so good. Oh. We would like color them and shit. Yeah, it was so good. I remember seeing those notebooks and the nerd in me was like. Do we have homework? Like, what, yeah. what, is, what are these kids what writing? Doing? Yeah. We, uh, like, depending on the holiday, we'll, like, decorate on the holiday. It yeah, was yeah. so cute. It was great. And I, yeah, I was, like, annoyed. Okay, I was very conceited in high school. I would think that I was a hot commodity, you know? Like, you are, too. I'm hot shit. You are. Why the fuck does anyone like me back? <laughs> and so... You know, I'd be like, yo, I like you, you know, whatever. Yeah. And then they'd just be like, oh, I only see you as your friend. <laughs> are these are these guy friends that you already had a relationship with? Like a friendship with? Um, or the guys like, I saw you cross the way, I'm going to tell you I like you. One of them was like that. Okay, that Like it one... was kind of a far away. But it was weird because I felt like we were making eyes. We were like, we would... But we would like flirt with each other. Like we had each other yeah. like on aim and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the best. When you're that young and you're like, someone's giving you eyes. Bro, you're like, we you're could like be so wait happy a together. second. We could be so happy. Are we in love? Yeah, it's I like remember that. being at Six Flags as a kid <laughs> and like waiting in line for the rides. Oh, yes. And then like, you know, like because it snakes back and forth the line. And if there was a girl, like there's a couple times, like a girl would be like, and she would look at each other. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I think we're in. There the, the line one. would move, and we like loop back around. I'm like, are we looking at each other again? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then the ride would happen, and I would never see them again. <sighs> and then you don't know the next ride. No, <laughs> their next exactly. Ride? <laughs> I'm not gonna go looking for them. Oh right? man, yeah. So it was like I wouldn't make a move unless I was getting a similar vibe. Right, right, right. Because I like. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that bold. Okay. <laughs> but I was like, okay, there's a similar vibe, you know, yeah. like they kind of, and then like when I would get in, like, uh, when I would get rejected, I'm like, was I tripping? Like, <laughs> was I reading the signs wrong? You know? And were your girlfriends enabling? Oh no, he's blind girl. Um, no, they would just say I was very brave for like oh, pursuing it. Yeah. They're okay. like, I could never do that. Where'd you, you learn know? to do that though? Like you must've saw someone do that first. I don't know. For you to be like, I'm gonna go tell him. I don't know, man. That's so. I don't know. I mean, like, it's I have a lot of different. brothers. I have a lot of brothers. You do. You do. And uh, my sisters. You have uh, six or seven. I have seven siblings. siblings. Plus you. You're eight. I'm eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my sisters found their husbands at a young age, mm. and so like I think like being comfortable with their spouses like as a young person uh -huh. i think i was just like oh like it's easy it's easy <laughs> being around the opposite sex like, isn't it though you've been with cliff nine years so how old were you when you started dating cliff oh my god i was 19 i was 18 technically i was 18 and then of i turned age. 19 but it was funny because he's like i don't date anyone under 19 i was like so you want to wait till my birthday because it's like in a couple weeks <laughs> you're so like, bold we can yeah and he's like no no, no it's fine how old is he compared to you Three years. He's three years older than oh me. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. He's, yeah. So I was like, we can wait. Yeah. I'm not pressed for time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, but Cliff approached me. So that was Would different. he say the same thing if I asked him? Yeah, probably. 
He approached me. He asked okay. me to be his girlfriend. I love that he did that. And I was like, huh? <laughs> oh, like randomly? Yes. Oh. We were not flirting. Like, we, like. Oh, he missed the signs this time. <laughs> bro. And I don't even know what his, like, intentions were, right? Like, I was literally practicing for something else. It's like, po- like, after rehearsal. Yeah. We're, like, in the studio. And he's, like, sitting on the couch. And he's, Are you like. Wild yeah, I'm on wild. Okay. Yeah. And I'm with somebody else. I'm dating somebody else. Okay. And he goes. Hey, be my girlfriend. I said, huh? <laughs> he said he knew your boyfriend. Yes. He said he flirted with flirted with you in front of your boyfriend. I guess you didn't know he was flirting. Yeah. What was his flirting? Did he tell you? Like he would just like I would be in the car like so. with my ex, and he would just like pop up and be like, "Yo," and then I'd be like, "Huh?" So like very casual. I don't. E- I don't know what flirting is. Yo, Cliff's flirt game is on point because it's then, you don't even know it's happening. Oh my God. And then nine years later, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. We're gonna be married anyway. <laughs> um, and then he he did this thing, and I didn't know this was a move until he told me later. So um, he pretended like he didn't know how to use a credit card machine Mommy, at the front you know, desk, and I was like, "Oh, you're so stupid. This is how it works." <laughs> and this this is still all before we were together. Yeah. And then that was it. Then you know how we do like. Who's your wild style crush? Yeah. Um, I thought it would be funny if I said him. Actually. Why did you think that'd be funny? I I don't know. Because. That's confusing, because, T. Because. Also, I think he said me first. I don't know. Because you really were. Whatever. But we were like, I guess we were flirting. Now I look back on him like, oh, we were flirting. So basically, he was like, man, you're such a bitch. And I was like, you're a bitch. What? Yeah. That's then, game. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess so. And you so then I thought it was funny if I said he was my crush. Oh. And then because we were like being bitches to each other. So I was like, oh, it's glamp. And then I was like, Ooh. And then I didn't think of any, think anything of it. Like literally like a month passed, right? Yeah. We, we, we didn't have a lot of contact with each other because uh, when we were prepping for the performance, they split us up. And okay. I wasn't in his group. Okay. So they switched up. So I hardly saw him. Yeah, yeah. And then he's just like, one day he's like, be my girlfriend. I said, who the fuck? <laughs> First of all. And then say? I was like, no, I'm with somebody. Oh, yeah. I'm with somebody. Like, who Who are you? I've never been so g though. If you're like, okay. And then I'll, but. <laughs> Uh-oh. I gave him my number. TJ. Because I, I thought it was harmless. I was like, yeah, whatever. But he asked you to be his girlfriend. And then he said, hey, babe. <laughs> Oh, he texted you? He T9'd he you, said, hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> I think he had a sidekick back then. I don't know. Of course he did. On his hip? I don't know. No. <laughs> so be like, that's for losers. <laughs> um, yeah. So then you broke up with your boyfriend. I did. And then dated Cliff right away? Kind of. I mean, technically you had been dating him for like three months, probably. You didn't even know Basically, it. I didn't even know. But I, I broke up with my boyfriend because it just wasn't right. It, we just yeah. didn't like connect. Yeah, yeah. And um, and then you know, Cliff was like actively pursuing me, which I I wasn't used to. I'm usually the, the pursuer. pursuer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, this is nice. Yeah. This is new. Here's the itinerary to our life together. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, so it was so it was so funny because like I'm so used to like, hey, I like you. Do you like me back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did your parents let you date then? No. So how well, did you, you just out there? So like my ex was like my ex was like a secret. Like I didn't tell anybody, right. you know. And then <laughs> and then why tea? Uh, you know what? <laughs> That's for Cheers. another time. Yes. That's for um your Patreon subscribers. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I I guess I was, because I had a boyfriend in high school. And they knew about it? And they knew about it. I introduced him to the family. Was it a big deal? That you kind him? of. Because I'm the youngest too, mm. right? And I'm a girl. And, you know, but my mom did not give a shit. Like, in, in the way that she was like, why are you bringing someone to my house? You know, like, you're not marrying this dude, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah, She's like, don't bring somebody, you know, in my That's house. Serious. Yeah. So. That is funny. 
of course, of course, in high school, you think it's serious, right? I was like, dude, we've been dating for like two months. Of course, it's serious. Yeah, yeah. we held hands. All right. Uh, yeah. Here's, here, here's I, I like that. Uh, we're talking about Cliff a little bit because one of my questions I want to ask you mm-hmm. is, yeah, you've been with Cliff nine years mm-hmm. on Wild for nine years. Nine years. Yeah. I I was on Wild before. I started dating Cliff. Yeah. 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 Uh, y- you stick around a while. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I love you so much. Like why I appreciate you, right, in our friendship, is you stick around. Is it a loyalty thing? Um, mm. A stubbornness thing? A, you know, why, what about Cliff or Wilder or you sticks around for so long? I get comfortable very easily. Okay. Number one. Yeah. Like, I'm very open. Like, I I hardly have any secrets. Yeah, you tell random guys that you like them. It's just, like, it's how I feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I get comfortable very easily, uh-huh. right? And I, I think I feel at home very easily, too. It, it could get me in trouble here and there. But, like, um, I... I think, like, if it works, it works. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Okay, yeah. And, like, uh, when, I think when something, like, feeds your soul a certain way, you don't want that to go away, Yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And and I think that's why I stuck with, like, my Chinese dancing for so long. Uh, I mean, I did that for 13 years. Um, you know, wild style, like... It's such a, like, f- like oh, fully encompassing thing, you know? Yeah, it's not just a dance team. It's not just a dance team. Yeah. Like, there's cycles, obviously. Like, people come in and out, but it, it's kind of nice yeah. to be there through it all or, mm-hmm. like, to see the several cycles it's been through because you know, even though there's those cycles, yeah, it's still sustaining, mm-hmm. you know? And, um, with like Cliff, I mean, he, uh, he makes it easy for me. I don't think I make it easy for him. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. And actually, I take that back. I make it easy for him. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I, I don't think we, uh, ask for much. And that's what's nice. Like, mm. well, I, I'm not, like, we don't need a lot from each other. But I thought you give a lot, though. Yeah. I think we just naturally do that. Oh, okay. You know? But we're not like, hey, you know, like, I need you to be this. Uh, or, yeah. you know, like, I'm not like, oh, why don't you do this for me? You know, like, we're not, like, on each other's shit all the time. You know? Would you say it's pretty, it seems to me, a pretty drama relationship um or do you feel like a good amount like yeah it? but like we still have our moments obviously yeah, yeah. yeah i mean um i think the downside to not living with each other is sometimes our bursts are bigger uh right? yeah, yeah, yeah we we don't have that every day to kind of like spread it out you know it's gonna be interesting too when you guys have your first fight in house and you i can't wait i told him this do you, do you guys have to set ground rules now yeah. Like, can you leave? Can you not leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you slam yeah. a door? Like, yeah. You can you know, break something? Can you right. punch something? Yeah, like, you gotta yeah, figure yeah, out what yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tay and I still figure some of that stuff out. And we're like, no. Yeah. For sure. Excuse me. Um, And I feel like I have, like, my mother's rage, right? Like, so I'm mm. kind of excited about it because we haven't been able to, like, get in there you're so weird you, know? you want to have this fight like i i don't it's so but it's like i feel like we need to not not like in an aggressive way no i, I, I think it. we need to like have it in our own space yes because we haven't had we haven't been able to argue or you know have a disagreement in our own space yeah yeah so like you know, not necessarily, you know, aggression or whatever, because like, I mean, I can get mad. He yeah. can get mad, whatever. 
and we've done it before, but I think just like one, not filtering and not worrying about like, can other people hear us? Mm. Or you know what I mean? So like, I'm not, I, at first I was like, I can't wait to yell at you. Like, I can't wait. <laughs> like I'm going to yell so loud and I'm not a loud person, you know, yeah, yeah. like I'm going to yell in a monotone voice <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, yeah. But I think just knowing that like, we are just like in our own space yeah, yeah. and we can actually work this out without a boundary. That's cool you though, that you're looking forward to it and not worried about what it's going to do. Cause it seems like, you know, you're committed to it and you're like, okay, we're going to figure this out. Yeah. Uh, Cause that's one thing I always worry like not younger couples, like newer mm-hmm. couples who just mm-hmm. move in. Mm-hmm. But you guys have the benefit of actually knowing each other for so mm-hmm. long. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I was talking to somebody today, and they're like, oh, I love this person, and da-da-da, mm. but it's, it's work, it's stress, and all this stuff. And I was like, why? That's not. That's a lot of, and I was like, I told him something, and I was like, um, I don't think relationships have to be so messy. No. They don't have to be. No. And they're like, well, what is love? It's complicated. It's messy. It's like, why? Mm. You watch too many movies. Your love should be easy for you. Yeah. Like you're whoever you're loving, like it shouldn't be hard to love them. Yeah. It shouldn't be hard to please them. Like obviously you work for it, you right? Work for yeah. It and you figure out how to do it and But it shouldn't feel like ugh. It should be a burden. Yeah. Like oh I have yeah. to love this person. Like that's terrible. And I heard this thing where it's like uh happiness and anger is almost the same because it's away from evenness. Okay, like opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah. You want to kind of be at that even plane where you're content. With your, in life or your in life? Just in general, just like by yourself, by yourself, with your person, whatever. It's very stoic. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> but like your, um, but like being even is kind of like your true happiness. Balance. Because you can always be super happy, but you can always come down from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that's why that evenness is, like, the ultimate thing. But you can, oh, but your, okay. your love, like, love is so powerful. Like, you can't, like, there's nothing that, like, um, makes love not trendy. You know what I'm saying? What's your take on soulmates? I don't know. I yeah. used to believe in that. Same. But I mean, Tina and I talk about this a lot, and it's kind of like well, you know, what's meant to be is meant to be. It's true, <laughs> right? Yeah. But you, did you make it happen? Yeah. Did you let it happen? Mm. You know, because like I, I do believe in like serendipity. You know, yeah. like things just happen. You're like, oh shit, you know, it was great. It's perfect. Yeah. But um, I don't necessarily. I think yeah. you kind of make it that way. I agree too. Cause yeah. Tanya talking about a lot today. Cause when I first met her, she's like very much, she's, she was heavy. Like you're my soulmate. And this is, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and now it's evolved a little bit. And I think before I, when I was younger, I believed in it too. Mm-hmm. Very Disney, very yes. like yeah. whatever. And I, I think, Afterwards, did you ever watch the American Wedding, like the American Pie trilogy? Some of it. There's, there's one. Thing. I didn't watch the wedding one. So the no. wedding one. She's Ask trying to figure out her. <laughs> she's trying to figure out her, how to write her vows, and she asks uh, his dad, like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Talk about love. And he goes, "Why do they call it making love?" And she's like, "Well, we just call it boning, right?" And he, she's like, "No, because you have to work at it, and you have to choose." Yeah. Like make a choice every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To choose them to choose to work at it, yeah. and they have to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. And I, I was thinking about it. I was like, that sounds way more romantic than mm. you have one person for you. Yeah. Because if you have one person, you're stuck. Yeah. Like, what if they're not great for you? Yeah, you choose to love them. Because, yeah. like, nobody's perfect. Yes. Right? Nobody's perfect. And um, obviously, you work out the kinks. And people change. People change, yeah. Like, I believe you've been together nine years. I'm sure there's been some evolutions on it, and you guys are going to continue to do it, mm-hmm. and change, and evolve. 
every time we like fight or whatever yeah. fight, I, I don't even know if you can call that. I'm like, this is temporary. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I, but I also say this isn't the last time. Right. Be and hopefully the last time for this specific thing. Right. Okay. But we're going to fight again. Yeah. I said, and, and that's what I said. Like, like before we move in, get ready. Cause we're going to fight more. <laughs> Probably I'm going to see you more, you know? And, and it's fine. You guys fight about dumb stuff. Oh, I can't wait. Like laundry, dishes. You're going to get mad about the way he breathes. Maybe. Have you seen? Guaranteed. I did see like a video that was like a list of things my wife's mad about me, <laughs> uh, mad at me yeah, about yeah. or something. And he was like, uh, I forgot what it was. Like I should have closed my eyes like the way i read something i should have just closed my eyes i forgot what it was it was Dude, so funny there will be times when when tay will just breathe after she says something and i'll take it i'll be like what the fuck was that and she's like what are you talking about yeah and plus you know tay doesn't have that internal monologue <laughs> so she has to like uh physically express it somehow. like externally yeah. yeah and i'm like she goes just let me think like, all right um okay yeah, it'll be fun I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys too. Yeah. Talked about a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Elijah's gonna watch this one day. Oh, Elijah. He's, He's getting big. so big. He's getting big. Yeah. I he you've known him since like almost day one. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. he calls you he's gonna call you goatee, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you want little Elijah to know when he watches this back? What what mm. lesson you want to to, to ponder on i thought about this because i knew it was coming right yeah. i'm sure everybody knows yeah this question i love that you take time um, to think about it. i want to say find your community okay and it doesn't have to be the same community you know you can have uh, small communities mm -hmm. just at least a good one right because you're not alone ever Never yeah. alone. And um, make sure that community is strong. Like What makes a good community? Support mm -hmm. and trust. And um, being open. You, you need to find a community. Not even like, and I don't mean community as in like the dance community, right? Yeah. But like... Like your homies, you know? Oh, like a circle. Yeah, yeah, like a circle. But also, but even outside of that circle, maybe even a community that enjoys the things that you enjoy, you know? Mm. Because because if you find that community, you can find your circle yes. within that community, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, it's important because, again, you're not alone. Yeah. And it's... It's like one of those things where you meet people and you, you think you've known them for a long time or you feel like you've known them for a long time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just that common thing will, like, bring you together for life. Yeah, yeah, And you're yeah. like, oh, shit, we're best friends, you know? <laughs> and that sounded like you so... you and Tay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I met her, like, two years two ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. We're fucking full-ass, like, adults already, you know? Yes. And so it's well, like... Well, now we get you together. Yeah, we're like you guys turn into sisters. high school girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like, that's super important. Yeah, because and even if your uh, circle is small, or um, even if it's big, like, don't be afraid to like trust them. Because mm. I mean, you know. Whatever, people will turn their back on you. Whatever. Like, that's not, like, don't be afraid to, like, be open with people. Yeah. I think people are very scared to be open with others. With and their it, feelings? Yeah, their feelings, their experiences. Yeah. Um, just, like, uh, like, what they know. Like, people, like, have their secrets, you know, like, their trade secrets. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The, people are very closed off about stuff like that. So, like, I, how does that benefit anybody? Right. You know, like, I think just finding your people and being open with them. How has your circle changed over the years? It hasn't. It just got bigger. 
Really? Yeah. That's so interesting because I think most people get smaller circles mm -hmm. as they get older. Um, I did have a small circle before, but like you add on and like. You probably add on quality people though. Yeah. I mean, like, you got to be picky. You got to be picky with who you add on, right? Yeah. Um, But again, I've. I don't know if it's because like I haven't been hurt or like I don't know. Maybe it's like the trauma level, you Maybe. know, like whatever, but like I never felt the need to um like keep stay closed off from every anybody. Yeah, yeah. Like I might seem either very like monotone or whatever. But if you talk to me, I will probably talk your ear off about nothing. That's probably one of the biggest misconceptions I think about you. Yeah. Is I think cuz you've been directing for a while. Mm -hmm. Some of the younger ones were like, "Oh, she's intimidating. She's scary." Oh, scary, yeah. And I I've I've I mean, I've known you for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, "T? She's mm -hmm. about to fall asleep right now." Like, what are you talking about? The only time you should be scared of me is if I'm not saying anything. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because I, so I forgot. Uh, it was Kid. He was like, oh, shit. He's quiet. Y'all better be scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just... I'll just talk. Yeah. Like, uh, Lan, yeah. I met her, yeah. and we talked to each other for two hours straight. I believe that with you too. Like the first five I minutes. I believe that you too. I was like, oh my God, let's talk for two You guys are so good about that. <laughs> yeah, we just sat on the couch and just started talking. I love that advice. Find your community circle. Be open with them. Be open with them. Be open with them. Because being in your own thoughts is dangerous. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Because in you... You can only support yourself so much. Yeah. You know? Can I add on to that? Yeah. I would say in that circle, as you're being open, have people that can be open with you. Yes. But also give you honest feedback. Yeah. Back. Like people who are real. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look yeah. for it for yes men. No. Or, you know, a necro like, chamber. oh my God, no, it's okay. No, 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 no. Uh, you kind of fucked up. Yes. Yeah. I think that's room for Yeah. I think that's what... I see in our friends is like, you know, if someone messes up, they're going to say something. Mm -hmm. But I've never known anyone to be malicious about it mm. or be like, mm -hmm. you know, s sabotaging. Yeah. Sabotage. Yeah, yeah. Um, A saboteur. I don't know the word. Yes. I usually know these things. But be open. But you have to be obviously be careful who you're open with, right? And and don't be open uh, with people who like won't open up to you. So how do you know who to let in your circle? I don't know. I think you just kind of know. Like it's one of those things where like you slip out a secret mm -hmm. of yours, and like they don't. They're like, oh, but they're like, oh, like, yeah, that's okay. Like they're not. They're not like. <gasps> oh, they're not like judging. They, yeah, they're not judging. Yeah. You don't want people who judge you. Mm. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is his community could very well be Lance's kid, your kid, yeah, Lisa's kid. Mm -hmm. I'm getting all the guys' heart attacks right now. Yeah. Clifflin's kids, like now, probably. Oh, yeah. Before you came over, I'll tell, I'll tell you this off, but before you came over, he got here first, and he grabbed Elijah. I was like, Elijah, come sit over here. <laughs> and I was just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, come on, it's Tito Cliff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It's adorable. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Awesome. This is good. <laughs> <laughs>